Hello, hot dogs. I'm Mr. Hale, assistant principal here at Frankfurt High School. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hartman, the other assistant principal here at Frankfurt High School. Welcome back to another exciting year here at Frankfurt High School. We are excited to get the new year started and look forward to seeing all the amazing things that you will accomplish. We realize that this will be a unique year and know that we are all in this together. Flexibility, preparedness, and having a great attitude are essential when dealing with these trying times. During this time, we ask for all students to please take your laptops home every evening in the event that something comes up and we ask you to stay home. The following are members of the front office staff. Should you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact any of us. If you are a student with the last name that starts with A through L, you are assigned to myself, Mr. Hale. If you, are a, if you have the last name of M through Z, you are assigned to Mrs. Hartman. We will handle the majority of discipline through your school email. We ask that you check your school email daily for any communication from the front office. If you need to speak to one of us, you will need to contact Ms. Debris to set up an appointment to come down and see us. You will not be able to see one of us just by walking into the office. If you have questions about your classes or schedules, you will need to contact Mrs. McGuire and Student Services to set up an appointment with your counselor. If your last name begins with A through GN, you will have Mrs. Everett. If your last name begins with GO through N, your counselor is Ms. Braun. And finally, if your last name is O through Z, your counselor is Mrs. Evans. This year's schedule is different than what you may be used to. We will not be having late starts on Monday and Fridays this school year. We will begin with community every morning as well. Please make sure you are on time to school. School begins every day at 7.30. When arriving in the morning, doors will be open at 7.10 a.m. You can come in and pick up a breakfast in the cafeteria and then head directly to your community class. We ask that you do not congregate in the hallways or walk the halls in the morning. Breakfast will stop being served when the first bell rings at 7.25 a.m. If you drive to school, you will need to purchase a parking tag and have your car and license plate registered with the front office. The cost for the parking tag is $3. When school dismisses at 2.45, we ask that you immediately vacate the building or head to your athletic area. Those students who ride a bus will need to be out to the buses by 2.50. We will dismiss the buses to leave at that time. We will not hold up buses if you are late they have to get across town for pickup at the elementary schools and we run a tight schedule. When arriving in the morning, we ask that all drivers or students who park in the student parking lot to please enter through door 27. If you are a drop-off or walker, please enter through the main doors, door 1. And if you are a bus rider, you will enter through door 3. This is created to maintain social distancing when entering the building. At dismissal, again, if you are not in a school activity, we ask that you not hang around. Lunch looks a lot different this year, this year than in previous years. As you know, we have three locations where lunch takes place, upper case, the classrooms, and the cafeteria. You will need to stay in your designated area for your entire lunch period. If eating in the cafeteria, you will be, need to use the restrooms located by the theater. If you're in the classroom, you may use the closest restrooms to your classroom. And if you're up in case, you will use the bathrooms down by door 29 at the bottom of the mezzanine outside of case. If you have any questions about where to go, ask the supervisor in charge in that area and they can point you to the correct location. Unfortunately, seniors, there will be no off-campus lunch until further notice. Lunch will have assigned seats that you must sit in every day. This is extremely important for contact tracing that must occur if someone tests positive for COVID. Please do not change seats without seeking administrator approval. Lunches will continue to have staggered starts and dismissals to help with the social distancing. New this year is our tardy policy. Tardies are going to be counted by total numbers and not by class periods as they were before. There is a new nine tiered approach to dealing with tardies. The first five tardies that you receive will be a warning from your teacher. Remember, this is not per class period, this is total number of tardies. 
On your sixth tardy, you will receive a lunch detention. On your ninth tardy, you will receive one detention. On your twelfth tardy, you will receive two detentions, and so on. The following chart shows you the list of consequences for your tardies. Please pay special attention to the 21st through the 30th tardy. You will receive a day of ISS or OSS for each tardy that you accumulate from numbers 21 through 30. After your 26th tardy, you will sign an attendance contract along with your parents for the remainder of the trimester. If you violate this attendance contract, you will face possible expulsion from school and could finish the remainder of the trimester in alternative school. Again, most of our communication about discipline will come to you through your email. Not checking your email is not an excuse to miss a detention or punishment. If you have questions, please see an administrator at lunch and we can answer those for you. There are two different types of detentions. There are Tuesday and Thursday detentions that run from 250 to 350 every other week. There are Friday night schools that run from 250 to 450 on Friday afternoons. These will run opposite of the Tuesday and Thursday detention. So for example, if this week we are having Tuesday, Thursday detentions, next week we will have Friday night schools. You will have plenty of notice to make different arrangements, either with a job or your parents if you are assigned a detention. There are no excuses to miss a detention. If you miss, you will be assigned another consequence. For example, if you miss a Tuesday, Thursday detention, you'll be assigned a Friday night school. If you miss a Friday night school, you'll be assigned ISS or OSS depending upon your discipline history. Please do not miss a detention. Again, you're required to check your school email daily and often. Due to social distancing and limiting time in close environments, we will be communicating with you via email. You will receive your consequences through your email. You will also receive discipline reminders from Ms. Dubry the day and or week of your discipline. This is why it is imperative that you check your email daily and often. Hi, as you probably noticed that social distancing is in full effect here at Frankfort High School. Um, some other reminders, please make sure that you wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth with, uh, with unwashed hands, and avoid close contact with people who are six. Again, make sure you stay six feet away. Part of that social distancing, one reminder I want to make is in the lunchroom. There's markers labeled on the floor. Make sure you stay on your marker until the one in front of you is empty. Then you can move on, and it may mean that we have to spread out into the halls to keep the social distancing until it's time to move into the cafeteria. If you've noticed, some of your classrooms have spacing and arrangements for the desk to maximize the distance. Um, one of the biggest things is making sure that we wear masks when we're in the building. So your buses, your bus stops, the start of the school day arrival and entrance to the school building until seat in the classroom. So keep it on all times, end of the school day dismissal from school, passing periods, and any movement from room to room. In the restrooms, the school offices, the nurses clinic, um, and then, of course, if by chance we ever did have any large group assemblies. The, fa the face coverings, remember, it's at the teacher's discretion when they're allowed to have breaks. Please make sure that when the mask is on that it stays, that your mouth and nose stays covered at all times. Okay, that's one part that I want to make sure we reiterate is that it has to go over the mouth and nose. Now, as far as close contact goes, the definition for that is less than six feet for 15 or more minutes. So just keep that in mind if we ever have to do contact tracing, that is what close contact says. So a couple health protocols, um, symptoms shown, you need to make sure you tell your uh, teacher and that way they can send you to the nurse and call it to the front office so that way we know that you're coming. Um, there's a lot of different guidelines and policies that go along with COVID. Um, so based off your symptoms, we'll de determine on whether or not you're gonna be out of school for 72 hours, 10 days, 14 days, especially whether or not there's a positive COVID test, whether it's yourself or somebody in your house. So the biggest thing, the first step is if you're showing any symptoms before school, you should call into the office and make sure you notify so that way we can give you proper guidance. And then during school, that way we can get you to the nurse's office and make the appropriate decisions at that time. Seniors, please make sure you get your meningitis shot. 
Okay, there will hit a point that I will, we will get a list and if you do not have the, so the shot, we'll have to hold off on you coming to school until we get proof that you have the shot. And this goes for all students. Please make sure that you're up to date on all of your vaccinations. Now I wanna talk a little bit about testing this year. Um, as you remember, the junior class was unable to finish their I-STEP last year. So just keep in mind juniors that you guys will all have to at one point this year take the i step okay there won't be a waiver for you guys at all because you didn't get it completed in the spring of last year you will have to sit through it this year and seniors remember you have to sit through the i step at least once so when that winter window window happens um, i'll expect all of you who need a retake to take it at that time and then you can always waiver in the spring if you had biology last year you will need to take the iLearn biology test this year. It is a requirement that you have to sit and take it once. We will also offer the ASVAB twice this year, once in the fall and once in the spring. All juniors and some seniors will need to take this test. Again, that will be based off your graduation requirements. And of course, freshmen and sophomores, um, you actually will not have to take the I-STEP. Your graduation standard test will actually not even happen until the spring of your junior year, and it will be the SAT. So you guys actually will get to take that breather this year as far as testing goes. Virtual scholars, as you um, are aware, we have the virtual option that students can work from home. Um, that's important to know that when you go to be a virtual scholar, if you choose to come to in-person classes here back at FHS, you have to get the front office two weeks notice before the end of the trimester. There's a lot of moving parts on kids coming and going, so we have to make sure that we know plenty of time in advance, okay? Once you are enrolled, you must stay online for the entire trimester, alrighty? And as of right now, nobody else can go virtual scholar for trimester one. Now, whether you're a virtual scholar or not, everybody still falls under the graduation requirements. So even if you're a virtual scholar, if you go online eventually at some point, you still have to meet the graduation requirements for the state of Indiana. Um, so it's gonna be important, especially if you have testing requirements that you take all the testing. So please work closely with your guidance counselor on what you need in order to graduate this year, whether you're using a pathway, whether you're passing the I-STEP, passing the ASVAB, as you can see, there's a variety of different options and we have to be able to check that box in all three of them in order to say that you are a graduate of the state of Indiana High School. Safety, we always wanna reiterate this every year. If you see something, say something, okay? Uh, feel free at all times to always notify any adult in the building if you see something. By all means, you, can, you have access to email us all as well shoot us an email, especially the administration. Let us know if you see something that is concerning to you. With that also being said, we also understand that at this time at COVID, that there are situations that are very different for people. So if you need to reach out for help, please do so. Please, again, email your counselors if you need to see them, if you need to talk about things. We are here to help and we care deeply about your health and your education and helping to make sure that you're happy and safe and need what, uh, get what you can and need here at school. So please reach out to either administration or your counselors. Now, again, with that being said, I know Mr. Hale kind of already touched base on this, that in order to set up for appointments, you need to see Mrs. McGuire and student services for a counselor or email your counselor, or you need to email Mrs. Debris in the main office in order to set up appointment with Mr. Hale or myself. Um, again, make sure you are always wearing your mask at all times at any of the main offices that you're in. Now, um, sports are a go right now. So while they're a go and clubs and everything's happening, get involved. You know, make sure you're involved. We have clubs, we have athletics, band, choir, drama. Um, if you're unsure, come talk to your counselor and we'll help you find out what you want to do. Um, by all means, make sure you're involved and make sure you're getting the best of your high school experience. So that ends this uh, class meeting. Have a great year. Remember, wear your mask, maintain your social distancing, and go hot dogs. Mm -hmm.